You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee, movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com, YETicket.com, your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right, YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket, that's right. This is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Hey, the film I'm going to talk about right now is Dawn of the Planet of the Eights. Well, this takes place 10 years after, well, the last film in 2011, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Here, 10 years later, humans are dying. You got the mayor of Bloomberg of New York telling people, be careful. You got President Obama uh, telling people, be careful, stay at home. Well, you know, those are news footage, but this really adds a little bit more reality to this series. And this film's open up where you see the apes, all of them, they're hunting. They're hunting deer. And they're doing a very good job at this. And, you know, in, in real nature, chimpanzees do hunt, and they do kill, and they do eat meat. And you know, the leader is still Caesar. That's right. Caesar is still the leader of this group. He's much more intelligent. Also, you see the group too, they, they learn sign language. Uh, they got some, some words, you know, syllables and things like that. And they teaching them, you know, each other, some things, some philosophical things, you know, like apes don't kill apes. Again, this is 10 years. After the disease wiped out the humans. But now there's a group of humans living in San Francisco. They come into the woods looking for a dam because they need some power to, so they can survive. They meet the apes. And that's when everything comes out about what's going on. Of course, you know, you got Cobra still in there too. You know, Cobra was the other cage chimpanzee that's being tortured by all the workers there in the rise of the planet of the apes. He's a very good friend, brother to Caesar. But because Cobra had such a negative, you know, reaction or interaction with humans, he doesn't trust him. Caesar, he does. Because remember, in the rise of the planet of the apes, he was raised by a good human. And he gave him the drugs to make him intelligent. The humans, you know, they need the power. And Caesar said, come on. Cobra said, no. And then Cobra said, I'm going to do what I want to do. And that's when you see what happens in this film, the impact and the action. Now, this is directed by Matt Reeves. You know, he did Let Me In. And it stars Andy Serkis. Again, you won't see his face, but he is Caesar. Jason Clark, Gary Oldman, oh, he's here again. Carrie Russell, oh, it's a beautiful young lady. Toby Kebbell, Nick Thurston, Cody Smith McPhee, Kirk Avalado, Terry Nullery, Karen Caval, and Judy Greer. They're all in this movie, many humans in this movie. But of course, in this movie, war breaks out. The impact of this film, as far as technical technology in this film, is exceptional. Now the story though, isn't exceptional. This story shows how apes and humans are almost the same. Remember the apes want to take care of their families. The humans, they want to take care of their families. Also, the apes, they want to stay together as a group to survive as a group and the humans wants to survive as a group. There are some moments in this film that are very, very emotional. I almost cried on one scene, but in the end, who's going to win in this film in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? I will admit this is one of the best films this year I've seen so far. The story is fantastic. 
but the technical aspects of this film is more than that. This is some of the best technical, uh, again, technical work I've seen in a film in a long time. You could not tell that this is CG. It looks real in this film. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is one of the best films I've seen this year. I am giving this four palm trees out of four or four stars if you want to go that way because you don't understand my palm trees. I just say palm trees because I'm here in South Florida. Anyway, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, one of the best films this year, one of the best sequels this year, and one of the best stories of this year, I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket. Hey, enjoy Donna the Planet of the Eights. This is your answer.